Beach has a new mayor. Mayor-elect Jerry Moyo took the top spot in yesterday's election. The former city commissioner has her work cut out. I spoke with her today about her plans for the city and the surprising election results that came out of a crowded race. Right out of the box, mayor-elect, we had four candidates running for the mayor of West Palm Beach. You were one of them. Uh, if, I, if I was a betting man, the prediction would be there would be a runoff. You won outright with more than 50% of the vote. How did you do it? Wow. You know, I, I was, if I were a betting person, I would have bet we had a runoff as well. Mm -hmm. I had an amazing group of volunteers who worked very hard, day and night. We started early. We were very grassroots. We made phone calls. We um, knocked on doors. We were just out talking to the people. And I think the contact and the interaction with the citizens of West mm -hmm. Palm Beach really paid off. Mm -hmm. Can you point to one thing, though, that in, in your mind as the candidate that kind of put you over the top? Well, I think the difference between me and my competitors was that I was really positive. Um, mm -hmm. I think we live in a great city. I, I love what we've done. You know, we've got some great momentum going, some really good opportunities for economic development, and um, I think that that made a real difference. People want to know that they live in a wonderful place, and for the most part, they think they live in a wonderful place. Okay, your work's cut out for you now. You're going to be calling the shots for the largest city in Palm Beach County. What are your top three priorities once you take that oath of office? Well, um, we will be right in the middle of budget season, so we're going to have to take a real close look at the budget. We have to cut. We have to cut probably around $10 million from our budget to maintain our um, status quo. And uh, that's going to be hard because we've already cut over $30 million over the last couple of years. Anything in particular right now that you, that you see is going to have to be cut? We're going to have Can to you look point at, to something specific? We have to look at all departments everywhere. But there are a couple of things that we have to do. We have to take on pension reform. We absolutely have to look at that. Um, we have to look at redundancies. We have to look at our management structure. Do we have too much middle management? And, and do we need to sort of compress the layers of bureaucracy. So we have to look at all of those things. Mm -hmm. And very quickly, how are you going to stand apart from your predecessor, Lois Frankel, to what? be your own person, be your own mayor? Well, anybody who knows me knows that I'm a very independent person. I have a very different style from Mayor Frankel's. I have so appreciated her support over the last year and over the last four years since I've been on the city commission. Um, and her support throughout this election has been invaluable. So I'm proud of what we've done together. And um, you will see that I will be my own person. Mm. Thank you for joining us, Mayor-elect. My pleasure. My pleasure. Appreciate Thank it. you for having me. Mm -hmm. Very nice. The mayor-elect, by the way, will be sworn into office May or March 31st. Coming up at 6 o'clock, the mayor's race in Riviera Beach goes to a runoff. The race was too close to call, a clear winner between incumbent Thomas Masters and opponent George Carter. For all your election results from yesterday's polling, log on to WPTV.com and go to the Scene on 5 section to find the winners in your community.